After making five unsuccessful attempts on Salome, Mossad recognized they needed a different approach. From October 1978 over a period of six weeks, they noted that Salome spent most afternoons with his wife, former Miss Universe Georgina Risk, at her apartment in Snubra, West Beirut, and when not in meetings spent time at the gym and at a sauna. After planning a bomb attack on the sauna, the plan was vetoed due to the potential for an excessive number of civilian casualties. In November 1978, a British-based charity worker named Erica Mary Chambers traveling on a 1975-issued British passport came to Beirut. It is now believed that several other Mossad agents also entered Beirut at the time, including two using the pseudonyms Peter Scriver and Roland Kohlberg, traveling with British and Canadian passports respectively. Erica Chambers, known as Agent Penelope by Mossad, came with a backstory of graduating from the University of Southampton. In her early 30s and resident in the UK, she joined British-based arms of welfare organizations supporting Palestinian refugees in Lebanon and was subsequently invited to Beirut. Mossad agents noted that Salome would often travel down Becca Street from his apartment nearby. On January 10, 1979, Chambers paid 3,500 Lebanese pounds to rent an apartment on the eighth floor of the Unisasaf building. Bohemian in appearance, Chambers was seen as eccentric by her fellow apartment block residents, and would spend her time rescuing stray cats and painting street scenes from the balcony of her flat, overlooking Becca Street and Rue Verdun. Once resident and working with a Palestinian charity named the House of Steadfastness of the Children of Telsada, she engineered a meeting with Salome. After taking a liking to her, Salome took Chambers to various functions, and as a result of getting close to Salome, she learned his detailed daily routine. Death of Salome. On January 22, 1979, Salome was in a convoy of two Chevrolet station wagons headed from Risk's flat to his mother's for a birthday party. Chambers was on her balcony painting, with her red Volkswagen parked below on Rue Verdun. As Salome's convoy passed the Volkswagen at 3.35 p.m. and turned onto Rue Madame Curie, 100 kilograms of explosive attached to the car by a fellow Mossad agent was remotely exploded, either by Chambers or on her notification to another Mossad agent. Salome was alive but mortally wounded, having a piece of steel metal shrapnel embedded in his head. He was rushed to the American University Hospital, where he died on the operating table at 4.03 p.m. Eight other people were killed in the explosion, including four of his bodyguards and four bystanders, including a West German nun and a British secretary named Susan Wareham. Eighteen other people in the vicinity were also injured. The explosion shook Beirut, and was seen by Mossad agent Mike Harari from a boat off the coast. Immediately following the operation the three Mossad officers fled without trace, as did up to 14 other agents believed to have been involved in the operation. Salome was buried in front of a crowd of 100,000 mourners in Beirut's Martyrs Cemetery. Yasser Arafat was one of the pallbearers, and amid chaos commented that we will continue to march on the road to Palestine. Goodbye, my hero.